Hello, and welcome to this channel. Coming across electrocardiograms, you are well aware to follow the standard protocol of interpretation. That is, calculating rate, checking rhythm, axis, bundle branch block, and checking individual waves, intervals, and segments. In this video, I will tell you five very useful points, which will help to take your ECG interpretation skills to the next level. Let's get into it. Number 1. Amplitude of waves. When you come across an ECG, where you think the waves are either too small or too big. Before commenting on waves themselves, see the bar at the start of every ECG. This bar denotes the voltage at which the ECG is recorded. Standard voltage is 1 mV, which is equal to height of 10 small or 2 large squares of ECG paper. Any voltage lesser or more than this will record an ECG where the waves will appear smaller or larger than usual. Number 2. Speed of machine. 25 mm per second is the standard speed at which an ECG is recorded. The speed at which ECG is recorded is printed on ECG. If recording speed is more than this, the waves will be farther from one another and vice versa. This can make you interpret erroneously bradycardia or tachycardia, while the patient looks otherwise stable and measured pulse is also normal. Number 3. Correlate ECG clinically. Whenever you come across an ECG which is abnormal, correlate clinically with the patient condition. Sometimes, apparent ST elevation can be discarded as high takeoff in a young, fit individual with no typical symptoms. While the same changes may need further workup and evaluation in an elderly patient with diabetes and hypertension. Clinical correlation is also important in a busy emergency department where many ECGs are done in a short span. So, check patient symptoms and correlate ECG before rushing into telling a patient sitting comfortably on bed that he has myocardial infarction. While in fact, the ECG was of another patient on the side bed. Number 4. Rhythm Strip. Make it a habit to check rhythm strip to calculate rate and check rhythm. Lead 2 is the rhythm strip by convention and it is a 10-second strip. All modern ECG machines record rhythm strip automatically at the bottom of 12 lead ECG paper. In situations where older machines are used, ask to record long lead 2 or rhythm strip manually. Rhythm strip is specially useful in calculating heart rate in atrial fibrillation, where number of QRS complexes are counted in this 10-second strip and then multiplied by 6 to get heart rate per minute. Number 5. Serial ECGs. In patients with chest pain, presenting shortly after onset of symptoms, do not rely on a single normal ECG. Detain patient for some time, and do serial ECGs to observe development of ECG changes, if any, particularly in patients who have risk factors for coronary artery disease. And, this is it for this video. I hope you have found content of this video very useful. If you have some tips regarding ECG interpretation, write in comments section below. Also, consider subscribing to this channel and click bell icon to get notifications whenever a new video is uploaded.